Hi there, this is uh, Shrikanth Sare. So in this uh, lesson, uh, we are going to uh, continue our studies uh, regarding to the oracle. Okay. So in the last uh, three lessons, I have uh, just introduced uh, ourselves with Oracle 9A. So for some uh, for some issues uh, which have arisen in my system, so I have uh, just changed the version to Oracle uh, 10G Enterprise. Okay. So uh, or whether it might be uh, Oracle 9A or Oracle 10G, uh, 10G. It doesn't matter to us uh, much because uh, everything is same. Uh, just it's a matter of uh, comfort uh, using uh, which versions. Okay, so coming to uh, Oracle uh, 9A, uh, since I am in uh, Windows 7 uh, in my laptop uh, recording this video, unfortunately we cannot install uh, Oracle 9A uh, on Windows 7. Okay, so it's only up to uh, Windows XP machines. Okay, so if you uh, you find uh, uh, Oracle 9A version installed uh, mostly on Windows XP uh, machines, so when it comes to uh, Windows 7 or Windows 8 or Windows 10 uh, people tend to use uh, Oracle 10G or 11G Express or 12C which is the latest version uh, Oracle 12 cloud version okay excuse me okay so first and foremost uh, let me type this command here okay so let me say that clear screen to clear our screen a little bit okay so now uh, let us uh, look into the tables okay so let us uh, look what are the tables that are available in our uh, uh, user okay so before that let us uh, show uh, let us ask uh, give the command uh, show user okay so this gives us the uh, show user command so which is a uh, Scott here okay so since we have logged into the Scott user it's just saying that as Scott and let us look into the what are the various tables available uh, under this uh, uh, Scott uh, user let us say select star from tab okay so it just lists all the tables uh, which are available uh, with this uh, Scott user here okay so here we have uh, total uh, five tables which is uh, MPMP2 uh, which, is, which I have created uh, already okay so if you uh, have a first installation of uh, Oracle 10G or 9A you only find uh, four tables which is TEPT, EMP, bonus and cell grid okay so let us uh, drop this table so all these commands uh, ddl commands tml commands dcl commands okay so all these things we will learn in further uh, subsequent lessons in a more uh, depth okay so until that time uh, i am just giving you a small uh, introduction here so if you say this if you use this command drop table emp2 the table gets dropped okay so drop means it is uh, it has got permanently removed from our uh, database schema okay so now if you say uh, use the same command here uh, let's say that uh, okay so table is already dropped sorry so select star from uh, tab so if you take this uh, uh, query once again so if you observe here in the result uh, you don't find that uh, table once again here okay select star from tab it's uh, showing something obvious lord okay so these are the things uh, uh, which are uh, being uh, taken here okay so uh, so now uh, let me clear the screen once again so now let us if you want to uh, see any description or the structure of any table which is a database object uh, you can use this command which is known as desc emp okay so if you say something like this, uh, so what it just shows the structure of that table here. Okay, so here it has all the fields known as uh, EMP, uh, EMP number, EMP name, job, uh, MGR, higher date, cell, com, DP number, and so on and so forth. Okay, so like that. Uh, so if you want to know the structure, okay, so what are the various types they have used uh, for particular? Okay, it's so like any other programming language. Uh, database SQL also is a kind of uh, language, so it also has some uh, data types uh, built in into it, which is known as a number for uh, numerical uh, values, and varchar, varchar and varchar two for uh, strings, and also special um, uh, date for a uh, special type for date, which is date here, and also number uh, in this uh, format can be taken for uh, floating point. Uh, values okay so salary uh, and commission and all those things comes under uh, uh, floats okay so floating point data so for that purpose you need to take uh, this here so total number allowed total uh, allowed digits are seven and in that two are pression okay so can give up to uh, two digits after the decimal point okay so let me hit the clear screen once again okay so now if you want to uh, fetch the data uh, from uh, any uh, or if you want to look into the data of the table 
So you can say something like this, select star from EMP. Okay, so if you, as soon as you do uh, this one, uh, it, it will uh, uh, be like a mess, okay. So we have already learned about this uh, kind of uh, structure in the last lesson, but to to, uh, to display the data uh, correctly, so you need to use this command here, set wrap off, okay. So if you say something like this, now it has, uh, it will uh, wraps everything, but again there is a problem here, okay. So if you directly use this uh, set wrap off command and here you get a crazy message here, okay. So it says that truncating as requested before uh, column dbt number, okay. So uh, here we have uh, truncated the entire column here, okay, which is not a good practice, okay. So if you are, uh, if you want to view the data of your uh, database object uh, table, so you need to you need to do it uh, in a complete manner here, okay. So directly if you are applying this command uh, set wrap up, there is a problem here, which is obviously truncating as requested uh, column uh, dbt number, okay. So it's truncates, the problem occurred because of the line size, okay. So now if you uh, say something like this, set line size, uh, let us put the line size to maximum 32767, okay. Okay, so now if you execute that command, okay, so if you look into the results uh, previously obtained and now obtained, uh, so here uh, there is a there is a difference obviously, okay, so here now we have uh, this uh, DPT uh, column uh, which has been uh, obtained perfectly, okay. So uh, this is the key uh, uh, thing okay so if you set the line size to a maximum then uh, your table will be uh, your table will be appeared uh, with all the fields in it okay so uh, now uh, what we are going to do is uh, uh, to, ac uh, to acquaint uh, with uh, some more uh, basic commands uh, okay uh, let us uh, uh, create another EMP table okay so let us not disturb the EMP table which has come along with the Oracle installation uh, okay, the default table in the Scott user. Okay, so let us uh, create another table, which is quite easy. First, let me uh, clear the screen once again. Okay, and then uh, let us say create table EMP2 as select star from EMP. Okay, so table got created. Okay, so here what I did is I have uh, created a new uh, table object EMP2 as select star from EMP. So the whole, not only the, not only the description, the whole data of that table gets dumped into, into this EMP2 table here, okay. So if you, uh, if you say uh, DSC EMP2, so we have that uh, same uh, structure here. And if you say select star from EMP2, again you get the same data here, okay. So here you have created a new uh, EMP2 table. Uh, with the same data, uh, with the same data or the same structure of existing EMP table. Okay, so now like if you call any doubt whether it has uh, really created or not, uh, if you select, if you say something like this, select star from tab. Okay, so if you say something like this, so if you observe here, here we have this uh, EMP two table at the bottom, which is which has been created here. Okay, so now uh, let me uh, clear the screen a bit and uh, let us okay so if you want to uh, delete some rows okay so although we will uh, learn about all the uh, ddml uh, dml commands in the further subsequent lessons so this is just introductory to our uh, command line interface or sql plus interface in our uh, oracle so if you want to uh, delete some uh, tables uh, delete some rows sorry in our uh, table so you can use this command here delete from delete from emp to where cell greater than 3000 okay so if you say something like this previously I hope there are uh, some 14 rows uh, in our uh, table so if you execute this command so one row got deleted okay so now if you uh, select uh, star from EMP 2 okay so here whoever has the salary greater than 3000 has been got deleted okay greater than 3000 okay so greater than equal to if you say something like this uh, uh, let us let me select the whole uh, command once again here okay or else uh, if you select it and if you select it keep the hold uh, the right click and click the left and click the right click uh, you get the same command here pasted here okay so if you say something like this if greater than 2000 okay 
so uh, if you observe here uh, there are many people who, whose salary is greater than 2000 so all of them all of all the rows gets deleted uh, from our table here okay so if you hit enter so if you observe the result here there are uh, five rows got deleted now if you uh, execute this command uh, select start from emp to so the your table is now refined okay so result set is not the same as the one which you have uh, got previously here okay so now the five rows has got deleted okay so in the same way uh, you can work on various different queries uh, on various uh, different conditions based on the business requirement and now let me uh, drop this table okay so drop table emp2 okay so table has got dropped let me uh, check out out once again select start from tab okay so now that table has been deleted from our uh, emp table or sorry from the tables list okay so in the same way we have uh, many different tables if you say dsc uh, dpd uh, hit enter so you you get all the uh, description about uh, the dpd table here okay so in the same way if you say uh, select star from emp okay sorry select star from uh, dpd if you hit enter you get the data of all whatever the content you have within the dpd table okay so this is the introductory uh, part of our uh, continuation with the sql plus uh, commands in or with regard to oracle tangi which i have said in the very beginning okay so see you in the next lesson goodbye